Hey guys, this is Heather. So we've been talking about pressure cooking this month and I've shown you how it works and how to make some recipes, how to cook beans, how to cook grains, but crazy enough, I haven't talked about nutrition yet. And as a certified nutritionist, that is obviously one of my priorities when I'm cooking food, is to make sure that it's healthy and that it maximizes nutrients. So the good news about pressure cooking is that it is great nutrition-wise. When we cook food, the nutrient levels change a little bit depending on the temperature, the amount of time that it's cooked for, and whether it is in contact with water. So if you boil a carrot, for example, some of the vitamin C is going to leach out into the water if it's in contact. And the amount that leaches out depends on the temperature and the amount of time that it's in there. So when we pressure cook, we're boiling at a higher temperature, but a lot lower time. And interestingly, Dr. Michael Greger of nutritionfacts.org just posted a review video last week talking about some studies on the nutrient loss during pressure cooking. Because the problem is there aren't a ton of studies on how much is actually lost, so it's kind of a guess for the most part. But Dr. Greger does a great job of giving a synopsis of the studies that are out there. And essentially, the conclusion that he reaches in the video is that the temperature increase doesn't really have too much of an effect, but the decrease in time means that a lot more nutrients are retained during pressure cooking versus boiling. For instance, in the beet hummus recipe that I put in the vegan electric pressure cooker cookbook, I put a head note there that highlights the fact that beets have their own phytonutrient called betalane, which has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and detox powers. Betalanes degrade with longer cooking times, so cooking beets quickly in the pressure cooker is the best way to go. And the cool thing is you could cook beets whole in your pressure cooker. I usually peel them and then cook them whole, and then there's actually very little contact with water. And the other thing you can do if you want to minimize nutrient loss is to steam in your pressure cooker. So you put water in the bottom and then put a steaming basket and put your vegetables in the basket. And that's actually what Dr. Geyer mentions at the end of his video, that he thinks that's the optimal way to go. And he has directions for pressure steaming greens like uh, Swiss chard or collard greens. Now I haven't tried that. Personally, I like greens a little crisper, so I will just put them in at the end to wilt. But if you guys try his method, let me know what you think. One tidbit that I found particularly interesting and was new information to me, in Dr. Greger's video, he talked about beans at the beginning. And I don't know, I hadn't thought about the nutrient value of beans changing very much, between boiling and steaming because a lot of the nutrients in beans are minerals. But he mentioned a study where they looked at the antioxidant component and pressure cooking beans was significantly higher antioxidant content than boiling, which makes a lot of sense because boiling beans takes forever and is really quick in the pressure cooker. And another thing to keep in mind is that these nutrient comparisons often compare the raw to the cooked value, which when it's raw, it might have a higher nutrient value, but it's not as absorbable by our body. So we don't actually use that full content, when, whereas when it's cooked, we can use more of it. So it's kind of like the net value that you can get from your food. Anyway, it's all very interesting. I hope you enjoy Dr. Greger's video. If you don't already follow him, you definitely should because his videos are fantastic. Thanks so much for watching and thank you so, so much to everyone who has pre-ordered a copy of the Vegan Electric Pressure Cooker. Um, I've had a couple questions because there is a free gift right now during the pre-order period for the print book where if you send me your email, I'll send you a seven day pressure cooking meal plan and that does apply for the Kindle version as well which is out now so you can order the Kindle version get a little preview of what's in the book even if you don't like cooking by Kindle um, and you can pick up that seven day meal plan so there's a link below with all the info thank you so so much guys I really really appreciate your support and how excited you all are for this new cookbook and I can't wait to see what you make from it all right so we'll talk again next week Thank you. Bye, guys.